I feel like this is uh, New Year's resolutions unplugged. I started waiting at two and I was like, eh, I'm not good. Yeah. That's a no brainer right there. <laughs> We're kicking off a brand new Savvy Citizen music series, Savvy Sounds. Today, we talk with the folks from Hope United Survivor Network about the upcoming toy drive in conjunction with the local music venue, The Rooster. Event headliner, Scars Remain, stops by to talk about why this event is so important for them and to play a couple of their original songs for us. So we got a call from Michael at the Rooster, um, and he wanted to do more, get more involved in the community, and had heard about our organization and, and knew that we might be a good place to plug in to give back. Um, and we, of course, jumped on that, and we're like, absolutely. So they have organized a toy drive through their um, very metal Christmas event on December 17th. And if you bring a gift from the Amazon wish list, then um, it's going to go to a family that we're serving through Hope United Survivor Network, the Kathy Mabry Conacher Center, and the Child Advocacy Center. Center, the lighthouse. So the wish list can be found on uh, the Rooster's Facebook page. Um, there's been several people sharing it and I know they've already collected several items so we will be going the day before as well to pick up that first round of stuff um, that came in through the wish list and then we'll be attending on the 17th as well um, for those that are coming the night of. Um, we know it's the giving season and we're so appreciative of everyone thinking of us this time of year. Um, just remember we have needs all year long for the families and children that we serve. And the best way to get information about how to get involved is to go to our Give Hope page at HopeUnitedGaston.com. Don't you feel like if you put your hand right here, we could just break into song? Like a, a nice duet. You know, remember that time we went to Nashville? Remember that time we did a little karaoke? <laughs> <laughs> we did. We did. <laughs> <laughs> what song did you say? Um, there were several. Mm -hmm. It was it's a long night. We're good to go. Cool. Hey guys, what's up? This is Travis, Jim, and Kyle. Andy's over there too. But uh, we are Scars Remain right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, this song is called "What I've Become." A uh, bit of a song about the uh, the demons that we face in life, and uh, sometimes they're not the easiest to combat. So, uh, with that, the song is called "What I've Become." This mask I've grown to know Emptiness inside my soul Dark and twisted I can't let go Of the man you used to know well, All the lies I'm hiding behind I'm driving further the divide Twisted thoughts control my mind Ashamed of who I am inside Life I've grown to know Emptiness inside my soul Dark and twisted I'm letting go Losing faith in what I know My last mistake I'm leaving behind All the pain I've held inside Regretting all my wasted time Take this as my last goodbye
Thank you, thank you. Honestly, uh, Kyle was kind of the mastermind behind uh, putting this project together um, in its first iteration. Uh, I think we're on iteration three of this at this point. So, um, yeah, he kind of honestly pulled me out of retirement. I was done. Um, and uh, he just kept begging. He was like, come on, man. It'll be fun. Come on, man. But, um, you know, we, we kind of just got together and uh, see, to see what would happen, and ultimately something clicked, and uh, honestly, it become one of my best friends over the, time, the course of this time, I mean, as well as the rest of the guys. But, um, yeah, it just kind of just kind of happened. Uh, it was no plans, and we just kind of jumped together in a room, started playing some tunes, and uh, here we are six years later. <laughs> uh, we honestly write music. If it sounds good, we'll play it. Um, you know, we there's some some songs from earlier in our uh, in our tenure that are uh, probably like pop country songs, or you know, some that are a little bit more uh, ballad. And so, we're really, it's just right about writing good music. Um, more so, we're moving into a, a more modernized uh, sound with some help, uh, some friends, and some great producers. So, uh, look forward to that. 2023 is going to be a year of scars, though. The goal is always to keep making better music. Um, so that's that's first and foremost and like you said we've got new music coming out and uh, we're pretty proud of that um, we've got some pretty big shows coming up um, I don't know if we can announce you can't that. we can't talk about that sorry I can't talk about that <laughs> um, some bigger you gotta shows you got to build up the drama yeah um, but they'll, yeah, they'll just, pull the plug on that real quick <laughs> continue in writing for me I, I just want to keep writing and keep putting it out there and keep progressing as a musician progressing as a band and um, I don't just keep moving forward that way uh, guys, if you would, please check us out on social media. Find us at all of your favorite spots, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, all those good things, at Scars Remain NC. We'd love to, to meet you uh, socially. And, uh, <laughs> and non-socially, I guess. <laughs> or non-socially, depending on what you want to do. So uh, this next song we're going to play for you guys is a little one called Wish I Was. Um, this song kind of really speaks, um, as a Christian, um, but really about the, the struggles back and forth and listening to, to God kind of tell you what you don't want to hear. And um, sometimes, you know, those uh, those moments are the hardest in life to deal with. And um, that's kind of what the song's all about. It's fighting that internal battle. So the song's called Wish I Was. Tell me what you see Is this a person that you thought you'd be? Another casualty It's not something in your mind I pray something you might find It lives inside of me Another day, another stronger Another day that I can't handle This is my cry And I wish I was The place where you come And you'll never know The places we could go Tell you what I see It's not the kind of life I thought you'd lead Another tragedy It's not something in your mind I pray it's something you will find Well give it all to me Another day, another struggle Another war within myself Another day that I can't handle This is my cry And I wish I was The place where
is dust to dust I pray forgiveness for what you've done Well, first of all, the Rooster is a live entertainment venue in downtown Gastonia. We're brand new. We just opened in October. And, you know, I didn't have much time to to plan ahead to get open. So when I met Missy, who is the, the owner of Creative Music Management, and she's the company that we're working with to pull this, this uh, Christmas party off. And when we booked the show, I asked her, I said, how do you feel about making this a Christmas party? And she said, well, that's a good idea. I said, well, how do you feel about doing a toy drive? And she just immediately was elated. She said, I've been racking my brain trying to figure out a way to do a toy drive. Um, she wanted to make sure that it would benefit a domestic violence women's shelter. And we just so happened to be right around the corner from Hope United. So I asked her to let me call them first and let's start there because everything that the rooster is about is local. And, and so let, let's start with the, the most local, you know, center that we could. And I reached out and Hope is the, the lady that I ended up speaking with. And when I told her what we wanted to do, she was very gracious, was willing to come meet with me, came down to the rooster and, and we talked and I explained to her what we were doing and why we were doing it. Um, you know, the motivation here is, you know, there's a lot of people in our circles that are survivors. And so it's a it's a cause that's kind of close to a lot of our hearts. So it was it was really a no brainer. It was it happened without a hitch. Right. Yeah, even if, if you can't make it to the concert and you want to contribute, it's all over all of our social media. There's an Amazon wish list you can contribute. And if you come to the show with a toy, we give you a, a raffle ticket in exchange. And throughout the show, we'll be giving away uh, prizes for the raffle. So. You know, these guys are going to, they're giving a private acoustic set to one winner. Uh, we're doing uh, merch bundles from all of, there's three bands, so there's three separate merch bundles from each of the bands, and then there's one from the Rooster as well. And um, and Creative Music even bought a, a seven-string Ibanez guitar to give away for the raffle, so that's pretty awesome as well. Signed by all the bands, might I add? That's right, signed by all the bands. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the, the, the Ugly Christmas Sweater uh, contest. <laughs> right. I, I have to bring that up. Um, wear your Ugly Christmas Sweater if you come. We will have a contest, and the winner of the Ugly Christmas Sweater contest is going to get one of these bad boys. And this is a Rooster Hall Pass for 2023. This pass will get you into every concert we have all year long. So there won't be buying tickets, there won't be paying covers at the door. You get a whole year of entertainment just for having the best ugly Christmas sweater. You know, we had kind of had the show on the books that, you know, already and, and kind of racking our brains with Missy, looking for a way to do something to benefit the community. And, um, you know, this this calls was pretty near and dear to, to Missy's heart. And then, uh, of course, with uh, Michael and the Rooster, um, it, she presented us the opportunity. And, of course, you know, we were like, yeah, let, we jump at the opportunity. And, um, you know, anything, anytime that we can use the platform that we've been given to, to kind of give back to the community that supports us, I think it's uh, it's an important thing to do. Um, you know, we say it all the time, whether it be musical or uh, through acts or words of kindness, you know, we, we don't get 
to do anything without the support of our communities. So uh, in turn, to be able to give back to them in a way uh, like this is pretty special. And uh, you know, personally, as a, as a child that came from a, a household that was very impacted by something like this, kind of had a soft spot for me. So um, yeah, it, was, it was pretty cool. And um, to know that you know, already we're going to make a big impact on some kids that normally probably wouldn't get a, a very special Christmas. From the reports we're getting in, um, Hope's got or um, Molly's got her work cut out for her. She's going to have a lot of, a lot of toys to to divvy up. So hopefully we make some kids' Christmases really happy. It's uh, it's been really cool to see and something really cool to be a part of. Yeah, Missy gives us daily updates on kind of what's going on with the the toy deliveries, and we got packages showing up daily. People that maybe even out of state that are contributing to something for this of this cause. It's um, it's just really interesting to see. Um, you know, I think that there's been a. You know, a, a shift in, in people's mentality as we head into this holiday season to remember what it's all about. And, um, you know, ultimately it's cool to get gifts, but uh, given that smile on a kid's face is ultimately the most priceless thing you can ever do. Yeah. Awesome. You might, you might start tearing up. Yeah. <laughs>